Okay, so we're going to draw all the Vesper, all possible Vesper shapes. So let's first start with the simplest and go to the most complicated. So we're going to start with something that has two groups, and that's linear. And let's just call the atom in the middle A, the ones on the outside, X, I guess. Okay, that's the linear shape. A has two groups on it. Okay, so it's a, I'll put a two here, two groups. All right, that's it for two groups. That's the easy one. It looks like HCN or something like that. All right, let's try another one. Uh, now let's go up to three groups. Three groups in three dimensions would look like this. Oh, I'll put the bond angle, by the way. This one's 180. There's three groups, no lone pairs. Uh, this is called trigonal planar. And the bond angle is 120. Okay? Uh, this group, this uh, set with three groups, can have one lone pair in it. So let's draw it with one lone pair. And it will look like that. I'm just taking off one at random. It doesn't matter which one you take off. I just happen to take off the top one. And uh, this would still be trigonal planar, the electronic shape, but the geometric shape would now be bent. So still electronic shape or electron geometry is trigonal planar, but it's a bent molecular, and the bond angle is still the same, 120. Okay, those are kind of the easy ones. Now it gets a little harder. Let's go to four groups, I'll put a three here, three groups, let's go to four groups now. This one, you want to get used to drawing this because if you go to organic chemistry, most of the carbons will have four groups. So they're going to be three dimensional looking. Uh, so that looks like, what I do is I draw two in the plane and two out of the plane where this this wedge here, so a straight line, uh, means it's in the plane of the board. A wedge that looks like a triangle, that means it's coming towards you. A dash means it's going into the board, away from you. Okay? That's four groups. This is tetrahedral. Okay? Now, I can have four groups and one lone pair. Okay? So I'm going to put one lone pair on here. I'm going to just randomly put it on the top one. Okay? It really doesn't matter where you put it. I think it's the prettiest when you put it at the top one. So that's how I'll draw it. If you think something else is more pretty, you could do that. Okay? This is different. This is the um, trigonal. Uh, pyramidal. Trigonal pyramidal. It should look like a triangle on the base. So the base of this pyramid is a triangle. Alright, tetrahedral, so this is still tetrahedral electronic geometry, can have two lone pairs on it. So I think it's easiest when you put the lone pairs on the three dimensional part. So you put it here and here to get rid of that. So it will look flat. And then I'm going to spin it around so they go on the top because I like to put my lone pairs on the top. I think it's pretty. And this is called bent. And you'll see it does, it looks bent. So that's a tetrahedral. I erased two of the groups. I decided to take off the wedge and the dash. I spun it around a little bit just to put the lone pairs on the top. Yeah? I have two questions. Sure. What is the bond angle? And the oh, yeah. And? And then also bent and linear, they, they always have to have three. You can't have less than three atoms. Like, 
could tetrahedron. Yeah, you're not going to have less than three atoms. Okay. Because, like, take linear, for example. It, I mean, it, I guess it is linear, but by default, it has to be linear. There's yeah. only two things attached. So tetrahedral will never have three lone pairs? No, no. It, it wouldn't make sense. Okay, the bond angle, thank you for saying that, is 109.5. That's the first bond angle that I think you really need to memorize because this one just comes from 360 divided by 2. 120 comes from 360 divided by 3. So 109.5, you can derive it, but uh, that's pretty nerdy. So there's all the four group ones. Notice that these two are both called bent, but they're different because this has one lone pair, this has two. So they are different and their electronic name is different. This is bent with trigonal planar electronic group. This is bent with tetrahedral electronic uh, geometry.